Alright, so today we're going to go into what it's like to pack a ruck. Um, basically, your ruck is going to be broken down into several different compartments. In the middle right here, you're going to have a zipper that separates the top and bottom of your ruck. Make sure you zip that, it's going to be really useful for organizing your ruck. On the bottom, you're going to put your sleeping bag, and we'll get into that in a bit, and what else you're going to have in there. On the inside here, it's easier to pack your ruck if it's laying down like this. It helps you to put stuff up against the frame. And basically, the way you want to distribute the weight is you want the heavier items to be up and against the frame. That helps the load on the back and the legs. So stuff like your extra pair of OCPs, maybe a Gore-Tex, that stuff is going to go higher and up against the frame. On the bottom, stuff that you're not going to need as readily available, and little lighter objects such as t-shirts, socks, snowmobile gear, stuff like that. That's going to go at the bottom and off to the sides a little bit. On the sides here, these are what's called sustainment pouches. In there you're going to have items that you may need readily available. Stuff like rain gear, you can toss it on. If it starts to rain right away, it's right there ready to go. Also food, your MREs, maybe a canteen, something like that that you're not already carrying on your person that you're going to need readily available if you get a moment to consume it. Um, another place that you can put stuff you might need is right in here. You could just unbuckle and it's right here. Stuff like maybe your maps, extra pens, batteries, your ranger handbook stuff you may need but you don't want to be digging around for. Um, to go back to that sleeping bag point, the way I like to pack my sleeping bag is already within this which is called the bivy cover. Um, what that basically allows you to do is have it readily available. This is generally waterproof so god forbid it starts raining you don't have to start stuffing your sleeping bag into the sack because if it starts to get wet it's going to stay wet throughout the night it's already in there basically when you're told you could take out your sleep system for the night you're in the patrol base you can just unroll it and it's ready to go i also like to keep my wubby rolled up in the headspace right here it's basically just a convenient place to put it and the only time you're going to have it out is if you're in this sleep system and that's going to help um, keep your body warm and it's basically one of the greatest tools you have because it's going to retain that body heat and even on a really cold night you're going to stay warm if you're wrapped in that. So this you're going to wrap up real tight make sure there's no extra air or anything then you're going to put it in here. What I also like to do even though this is generally waterproof I do like to put it in a garbage bag that's just an extra precaution to make sure that none of, your, none of your sleep system stuff gets wet. I also like to put all my other objects in garbage bags that basically ensures that it's not going to get wet. Um, tiny stuff like uh, rolled up ranger rolled t-shirts and socks and stuff like that can go in ziploc bags but basically that allows for you to uh, have a little flexibility where god forbid it starts raining your uh, your stuff isn't all going to be soaked um yeah with that you want to go into the straps and whatnot so i'm going to talk a little bit quickly about the structure of the ruck so if you've been on an ftx and your back hurts a lot um, more than usual it means that your ruck is probably pr placed wrong on the frame so there's a plastic frame on the ruck, and the body of the ruck is attached to the frame with these straps on the side. So, especially for women, our center of gravities are a little bit lower, so you can take the ruck, the body of the ruck, off of the frame, and you can move it down on the frame. That way, the weight will sit on your hips. Um, for men, a lot of men like to have their rucks a little bit higher, so if you find that you have a ruck that's a little bit too low, you can take it off of the straps or you can take the straps off of the frame and move it a little bit higher on the plastic frame. Some tips for distributing weight when you're in the field um, is that use the chest strap and the hip strap that's at the bottom. When your back starts hurting, loosen the chest strap and tighten the hip strap. When your hips start hurting or your legs start hurting, 
You can loosen that strap and tighten the chest strap again. So alternating weight um, throughout the FTX. But make sure that you play around with where the ruck is placed on the frame. Um, and you can always ask your mentors to help you deconstruct the ruck and construct it back together.